Hey everyone, James Lambert here. Hope you're absolutely thriving and living with great passion, positivity and purpose. So, another day, another video, another beautiful day to live fully, to experience fully, to love, to laugh, and to learn. What an opportunity. And what I've been thinking on this morning, the words that came to mind was, no one cares. So what? And no one cares, I know, growing up, that position, that state of mind, that caused a lot of alienation, a lot of sadness, a lot of anger, and a lot of resentment towards others. I felt that no one truly cared. Of course, the truth of the matter was, people did. But you know, when you're, as you may know yourself, if you felt like this in any kind of state, when you're in that state, you're, you're not open you're not aware of that. And that's why fixed, rigid views can be so unhelpful because they don't allow new, more freeing and helpful information into your awareness so that you can use it. And this goes with any of our beliefs, whether they be any kind of fixed belief. It can become a prison unto itself, a form of trap, albeit unwittingly and unknowingly to the user and that's why I included learning very deliberately in my opening statement it's a great day to learn for when we are open to new information we're open to learning open open to challenging our hitherto fixed beliefs and viewpoints of the world we up we just let even if it's a crack the possibility of new knowledge in new friends even. But as I say, coming back to those words, or the sentence rather, no one cares, so what? So if you are following any kind of creative endeavour, any kind of self-employment, you know, you're starting your own business, you're an athlete, you're a musician, you're an artist. We're all artists, but you know, you're actually trying to make money from your work. And you feel like no one cares. And then, conversely, a so-called critic and they say a hater, they can rear their ugly head and they can critique or criticise your work very harshly, very rudely at times. So then, ironically, you've got someone that cares enough to comment, but it's not to your liking. So then all the time you wanted someone to care, then when someone does, albeit in somewhat of a mean manner it's still not to your liking and this just leads a bit of a side point here is to not just be careful what you wish for but define it craft it with more care and diligence so rather than just saying no one cares which in and of itself is unhelpful but specify you know so that what you do want you want someone to care even more specifically someone to care positively and passionately about that which you do because in the uh, if I mentioned example, somebody could care enough to leave a comment, but it's just full of mean hate. So that's what we're not, not, not what we're looking for. But even more so, then say your work takes off. I've had the privilege to to have gathered a small army or tribe of supporters myself. So okay, great. But you see, the work remains unchanged. And so if you waited for the fans or the supporters to show up, first and foremost, before you did the work, they never would. It's a bit of a paradox, or a dichotomy if you win. And so again, inherently nothing's changed. You said before, no one cares, you, know, you were doing the work. Someone cared enough to leave something mean, you were doing the work. And then finally, you could have millions of fans nay. But, but what's changed? Externally, something may have changed. You may have grown your fan base that may have swelled enormously, 
But if you're just diligently doing your work, name enjoying that what you do, whether it be painting or poetry, singing or working out, being an influencer on YouTube or starting a business that grows supremely, do the work. Simply do the work. And then you see, you'll be so busy living, loving, learning, and hopefully laughing along the way, you won't have any time to pick up or even be aware of the so-called trolls or haters. And yes, whilst you'll be grateful for the fans and supporters, you'll realise that you would have done the work, indeed you were doing the work, long before they showed up. And if they were to all go away tomorrow, in the case, as in particularly in lockdown, as many people, celebrity found, or these so-called Instagram models or whatever, a lot of, you know, the so-called fans, it's so fickle, this is what I'm alluding to. So if you're doing the work much more enjoying it, you're going to do that anyway. So as I say, then we come back to the question, no one cares, so what? Because you're just doing the work. You're doing the work. You're enjoying it every day. You're crafting that work a little bit better. You're becoming better at your craft. Whatever it is, you know, you could be a, working with wood, a sculptor, a painter, whatever it were, is, that 1% every day or week, you know, you're a weightlifter, you know, not a personal best every gym session, no, but every, every month, looking at your goals and targets, readjusting. Don't wait to the end of the year for these whimsical New Year resolutions. Let's take stock of our lives now. And no one cares, so what? Because in truth, if you care, that's all that matters to make a supreme difference in the only life that ultimately will matter to you, which is your own. And so I hope this video has been very value-packed for you. As I say, it's been a simple and yet profound insight in my own life. To realise that, and again, it's not always this abrasive, just to be clear, when I say no one cares, it's actually not that they don't. Many people, certainly close to you, some family and true friends, it's, but they've got their own stuff to deal with. You know, raising families, making their own way in the world, learning themselves what works and what doesn't, relationships, money, various challenges that face us all. You know, it's enough that we just get by each day in and of ourselves. And as I say, there's so many commitments and increasingly so in the modern world on our time. And so it's not in truth that no one cares. Never was the truth. As I now come to see, looking back, and I did feel most alone, but it's that everyone's living their own life. And it's quite right that they do that. And so, of course, they've got to put themselves first and their family. But that's OK, because you put yourself and your priorities first in your own life. Okay, I'll leave it there for now. Hope you've enjoyed this. Look after yourselves. Have an outstanding day. And take care of yourself. Bye for now.